everyone welcome back to my channel this week I am doing a full face of makeup using only beauty pie products so if you want to see um, what products that I used and how I did this look carry on watching okay so this is a video that I've been meaning to do for ages I'm talking like months basically because I've had this big parcel here which my um, friend Janik very kindly sent me um, which is full of beauty pie goodies so inside I've got everything in there it's all still in boxes because I haven't used any of it it's been sat on my desk since I got it literally months ago um, so what I'm gonna do is full face of makeup using only beauty pie products um, little disclaimer I guess um, not really a disclaimer there's one product that I have already used which is this which is the eyeshadow palette um, I already had it before I decided that I wanted to film this video so I didn't see the point in buying another one just for the sake of it. So this is the only thing that I have already used. I've obviously used other beauty pie products before because I have mentioned them but everything else that I'm using in this video is brand new to me. So um, yeah I'm really looking forward to filming this. I'm going to unpack all of this and zoom you guys in. Right so obviously I've pinned my hair back so it's all out of my face and I've now got everything lined up. So obviously first of all I'm going to go in with some foundation. Now it is worth mentioning as well that with beauty pie makeup it's very minimalist so absolutely everything that I've got laid out is literally in this black packaging with the beauty pie like logo on um, and a little bit of information about the product and um, that's why it's so cheap if you get like a member of beauty pie and um, because everything's minimalist yes I love really nice packaging but I do think this is a nice touch and especially for the price that the makeup is so this is the incredible instant retouching foundation I have got this in the shade light 300 um, and I'm just going to shake it up because that's what it says to do in the instructions. It sounds really liquidy inside this, which is weird. Um, so I'm just going to shake this up and get my foundation brush. So I'm just going to take the top off this. Oh, it's got like a funky little top on it. I don't know if it'll focus. Can you see it? Funky little like top. Um, it is quite light, so hopefully this is the right colour for me. Pour it out. Oh, it's very liquidy. I'm very lazy and I just pour foundation straight on the brush and I don't think this is one that's going to work like that but let's give it a go. If I keep looking down to this side here um, I do apologise that's just where my um, mirror is so although I'm using the camera as a mirror um, I'm also using a normal mirror as well because the camera doesn't pick everything up. Okay so first impressions obviously it's very liquidy and um, it doesn't smell great but then none of the other products that I've ever tried from Beauty Pie do just because I don't think they put fragrance in their products which is quite nice when you're putting things on your face you don't need like added extras to it um, so it doesn't smell great it smells a little bit chemically but once it's all kind of buffed in and stuff it does go I found that with some of the other stuff now I'm not sure how well it's turning up on camera because when I look in the camera right now my skin doesn't look too bad um, but if you've been watching my videos for a little while you'll know that I've been suffering with quite bad breakouts and it hasn't covered them very well um, so I've got quite bad breakouts and I've got pigmentation issues at the moment because of that um, and again I'm not sure how much you can like tell in the camera but in the little mirror that I've got to the side all of this area here is still quite red around my nose is still quite red um, and the colour despite it being quite a light one and it looks quite light in the tube it's a little bit orangey and um, I wouldn't normally mind that because I can blend it out and I do have like a slightly olive skin tone so it doesn't normally make too much of a difference to me but I'm quite pale at the moment so you can tell that it's a little bit orange and um, but we'll kind of see how that balances out when I use powder and things afterwards so normally if I was to do this and go to work or something I would put either some more concealer or another coat of foundation on I am only going to see a friend it's nothing kind of major so I'm not going to put any more on um, but it is quite a light coverage it's definitely not like a, a thick coverage like I thought it would be um, which is one of the reasons why I like one of the other foundations from Beauty Pie um, so yeah this is nice um, I'd say that it does make my skin look blurred like it's supposed to but like coverage and colour wise it's, it's not great um, but then I have ordered it online so it could just be that I ordered the wrong colour and it could be that I just need to build up the foundation. So that might be something that I have to try when I'm going on a night out or something and I want to kind of spend a lot of time doing my makeup and adding quite a few layers and things. Okay so next up is under eye concealer. I have this one here. This is the only product I've got that isn't in 
completely black casing. And this is the Beauty Pie Super Luminous Concealer. Um, and I got this in Fair 100. Now, the packaging has like little tiny flicks of shimmer on, which is really nice. It does make it look like that's what I'm going to get for under my eyes. So that's good. So just taking the lid off and this is what the product looks like. So it's a little bit like the Maybelline um, under eye concealer or concealer. Um, and it's got like a little cushion on the top. I've never used anything like that. I've never used the Maybelline one. So I'm excited to see what this is like. Um, so I assume I just squeeze this. Yeah, so I don't, I really don't know if you're going to be able to see. But if you squeeze it, it comes out of the thing in the middle. I'm going to dot this under. Now this looks like quite a good colour actually. There we go, so I've got that. And I'm not going to use my normal under eye concealer brush. I'm going to try use this. Although, I don't think that's going to work. Okay, so that is as well as it's going to colour it in by using just the product itself. So I'm going to pop the lid back on that and I'm going to get my normal under eye concealer brush, which is this one, and I'm just going to lightly buff it in. There we go. So it has made a difference. It's definitely covered up under my eyes. I'd probably put another coat on it again if I was doing something that required like a full face of makeup. Um, but I do quite like that. I do think it's kind of luminised under my eyes. Um, I mean, to look at it from a distance, it doesn't look shimmery at all. Let me get the mirror and have a closer look. The close-up, it just kind of looks dewy, um, which is quite nice. It's better than it looking like really matte under your eyes. Um, I wouldn't say shimmery, but dewy is good enough for me. So I'm now going to go in with powder, which is in this little compact here. I can hear something moving around, so I think there's a brush in there. This is the Velvetizer Setting Powder, which I have in Light 200. So if you open it up, oh, it wasn't that. It was like the little plastic thing off the mirror. So when you open it up, I don't want to show the camera, but there's basically... This, oh, I'll show this mirror here. There we go. Um, so there's basically this really big mirror here, which is nice. It's the full size of the compact. And then you've got your powder here. Um, the powder does have the embossing of Beauty Pie on. And that's pretty much it, which is quite nice. Um, and it's quite a nice little compact, um, compact basically this. It's nice and little. So I'll give this a go. So I'm going to use my own brush and just dab this in. Now, I do have quite oily skin, so I do use powder all over my face. Um, I try not to use too much, obviously, but I do use it all over. So I would say that this powder is kind of taking away that orangeness from the foundation. Again, I don't know how much you can pick up in camera, because when I film these, there isn't a lot of detail. Um, but afterwards, it seems to add it some in. Um, but yeah, it seems to be kind of neutralising that orange, which is quite good. Um, and kind of leveling it all out so that I match my neck again. Um, which is good um, it's nice it feels really light on my skin I don't actually feel like I'm putting anything on but I can tell that the dewiness of my skin is going down so obviously I know that it is on there um, and I guess the payoff's quite good like you only have to dab a few times and it does come up on the brush so that is quite good um, and this doesn't smell bad which is really nice um, so I like this I feel like this is going to be one of my new kind of favourites right so now I'm going to go in with the compact which is what I already own which is the, um, oh it doesn't say what it's called, basically on the back all it says is the 10 best natural eyeshadows, I don't know what it's called, um, but basically inside it looks like this, so I'm not going to do my eyeshadow now, um, what I'm going to use is these two colours on the top, so I've got a highlight and a contour colour, I've never used these before, so these are still new to me to use, even though this is a palette that I already owned, um, so I'm just going to get like a little flat brush, I've never really contoured properly, so I'm going to do this, suck my cheeks in, and then draw my contour on. Right, so as you can see, I've got that on there. I've obviously not blended it, don't judge. Uh, but that is what it's like right now. I'm going to add a little bit um, to my nose, forehead, and chin as well. Who would have known that I'd be putting myself on YouTube looking like this? <laughs> um, what I'm also going to do while I've got this brush out is I'm going to use the opposite side, to grab the highlight colour and I'm going to pop that under my eyes. In hindsight I should have done this the other way around in case any of the dark colour transfers under my eyes but oh well. Okay so highlight colour I personally don't think has made a difference. As you can tell by my face the contour colour is definitely dark and um, it's definitely there um, so that is good and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blend this out. I've just got a little fluffy brush this is a MAC brush um, and I'm just going to blend this out I'm hoping that it blends well because I look really silly right now, so let's give it a go. My neighbour stood outside his house, like right opposite me, and um, 
I'm pretty sure he's looking at me funny because, well, one, I've got a big camera set up in my window, and two, I've got this drawing all over my face. Right, so it hasn't blended very well. I don't know how well it's going to show up in camera. In my mirror, it's blended a lot better than it has on camera. On camera, you can still see the lines, um, but I'm still not too happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to grab my foundation brush just in case it's still got a bit of colour in. And I'm going to blend it out with that. I don't know if it's the fact that that was such a fluffy brush as well, so it's not blended quite as well. But let's give it another go. Right, there we go. I'm much happier with that now. I've blended it all in. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. I don't think that contour kind of lasts too long anyway. I normally do it just with, um, I don't know, like a bronzer. Um, but yeah, I guess you can still see bits of it. Um, the colour that went on was really nice. It was very pigmented, which I'm very happy with. But the highlighter one was not. I did put that under my eyes and down the mid centre of my nose and you literally can't see anything. Um, but no, I'm quite happy with that contour colour. It's definitely one to reach for, I think. So to kind of go into that a little bit more and add a little bit more kind of depth to my face i'm going to go in with bronzer which is again just in this little compact um and this is the quantum bronzer bronzing powder um and this one is called ain't no sunshine right i don't know if they've packaged these right because this is apparently my bronzer can you see the shimmer in that that is insane that's really gold and i just opened up what i'm using as my highlighter which i'll kind of go into in a bit and this is what that looks like. So it's shimmery, but not as shimmery. And it's darker. Like, look at those. Oh, I don't know if they've got these the wrong way around. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other thing as my bronzer because I this is not a bronzer. I'm sorry, but I can't put that on as a bronzer. It can't be. So I'm going to go into what I think this is in a little bit. And I'm going to use what I've currently got in the other um, compact which I think is my is my bronzer. So I'm going to use this. So this, if it is what it's supposed to be, is a really nice colour. It's um, a really nice brown. It's not too kind of in depth. Um, and I think it's just going to add a nice pop of colour. So I'm just going to take an angled brush. I really hope this works. So you can't see that. Is this a highlighter? This is literally not giving me any colour payoff at all. I'm like swiping it on my hand like there's quite a lot on that brush nothing I'm not getting anything there's no shimmer there's no color oh that's so upsetting because it does look like such a nice color put it on my face and see if it makes a difference I don't think it does right well I'm not going to take that all around my face then I'm just going to put it in those areas I don't think it's done anything but that's there Oh, this is the one product I've tried so far that I'm just not happy with. I just don't think that that's done anything at all. That's so annoying. Right, blush. I've heard good things about their blush. A little tiny compact, so it's smaller than the other compacts. This is the bronzer one. This is my blush one. So I've got the Smart Powder Blush in Peachy Dreams. I don't think I've ever had a peach blush before, so it's quite nice. Oh, I've just opened it up and it's really pretty. I really like that. I don't know if that's supposed to be more summery or like autumn wintery but I'd probably use that now because I've not got much colour to my face so I think it'll be quite nice. So I'm going to take it on my normal blush brush. Colour payoff looks quite good. Put it on. That's nice. You can tell straight away that it's going onto the skin. Like you can see a nice kind of pop of colour. Oh that's really pretty. It goes on the skin and looks quite warm. Um... I really, really like that. It's not showing up in what I can see in my viewfinder, so I hope you guys can see, but it's a really, really pretty colour. Oh, and I so really like that. I'm definitely going to be using this blush. Okay, so now onto what I think is my highlighter, but it's actually in what is the bronzer packaging. We'll see. Um, but it's the Radiance Powder Moonlighting Balm um, in the colour Soft Soul. So I've just read that off the other packet, but I think that that is what this is. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that shimmer very well, but it's gorgeous. And this looks so pretty. So grab a brush. So I've just swiped it onto my brush and I don't know if you can see, but it looks quite dark. And now that I've taken that top layer of glitter off, you can see that there is a dark colour underneath, which makes me think that this is actually the bronzer. So I don't know, because when you swipe it onto your hand, all you can see is the, the glitter. Let's go back a bit. Oh, I really don't know anymore. 
yeah no that's the bronzer right so i was wrong about the packaging they did get the packaging right they just have a lot of glitter on the top of this product for some reason because you can see that go on straight away right so bronzer very impressed with i like it once you get past that kind of glitter top layer which as you can see now is pretty much nearly gone i've just got a little bit on the bottom it's a really really nice bronzer color quite subtle it blends nicely it comes onto the brush nicely i like that okay so beauty pie you've redeemed yourself with the um with the bronzer i really like this i just don't get this glitter layer maybe reconsider how you package everything because that glitter layer really confused me and this color underneath is so nice and you can't see it when that glitters on so i definitely say like reconsider that because like, you can see the difference that is crazy that is why i thought it was a highlighter because that is just insane right which makes me now believe that this is actually the highlighter which i used or tried out as bronzer which i am definitely not as happy with like there, there's no shimmer really to that the payoff on my hands and things was just not good i'm going to try it with a different brush i'm going to try a really little one and see if that makes a difference so i've got this little one here okay so you've got to get quite a lot of product and put it on and you've got to be in the right light but once you are you can see the shimmer it's definitely not one of my favorite highlights i'll probably use it if i want a really really subtle look but other than that I've definitely had better payoff from other ones and I don't like like crazy amounts of highlighter but that is is not really for me you have to load quite a lot on and it's still quite subtle right so I've zoomed you in even more because I'm now going to do my eyes this is as zoomed in as this camera will go and I don't want you to be super close to my face so we'll see so this is the palette that I'm going to be using for my eyes obviously this is the contour color that I used earlier and this is the highlight color that I used down my nose that I'm not too impressed with um, but these are the colours that I'm going to use on here. Um, I'm not going to use all of them, obviously. I'm just going to, I don't know, choose a couple. I want quite a subtle look. So let's give this a go. So the first colour that I'm going to go for is this one here, which is called Soft Mocha. So I'm going to grab that on just a flat brush. And I'm going to pat that onto my eyelid. Now, straight away, the colour payoff on the brush is really good. On my eyelid it doesn't make too much of a difference and um, it does take the kind of oiliness away from my eyelid but the color is not crazy so I'm gonna add another layer to each eye just to kind of add a little bit more depth so it does actually look a little bit different to my normal eyelid I'm gonna leave it as that for my like base color so this is what it looks like I don't know how well you can see Um, it goes on nicely it blends out it doesn't feel drying in any way which is quite nice um so i'm now going to go in with the second color i'm going to go for a dark one and i'm just to pop in the crease um so the second darkest on here which is a matte color um, there's only a couple of mattes and it's this color here um which is milk and cookies which is quite a cute name so i'm going to grab that on a fluffy brush i'm just going to work that into my crease now i can't see it too much if you look you can't see the color but the difference in my eyes you can see so that is quite good i'm gonna add a little bit more and go in with the other eye so i'm literally just adding this into the crease and then that bottom well bottom edge bottom corner either way it's just going on this side great so that is what my eyes currently look like i don't know how well you can see any difference um, but obviously it has made a difference to the overall eye I just don't think you can see it very well on each individual eye um, I don't feel like that was dark enough so I'm going to go in with this end colour here this one here um, which is called the Naked Eye now this one does have a little bit of shimmer to it um, I don't know how well the shimmer payoff is or how good the shimmer payoff is um, so let's give it a go this brush has got like a pointed end so I'm just using that pointed end to work a little bit more into my crease now this one you can see a lot more you can kind of see that exact area that i'm putting it in so I'm just going to work it into this one as well right that's great so this is what my eyes currently look like i've got that dark color on the outside when it wants to focus very sorry and um, i'm now going to take a standard fluffy brush and i'm just going to blend out the edges 
Um, I think the brushes that I've used have done it quite well anyway, but I don't want any kind of really dark ash lines. So I'm just going to go in and buff that out. Now I do really want to try one of their kind of shimmerier colours. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take another little flat brush um, and I'm going to take one of the shimmers and I'm going to pop it kind of on the inner bits of my eyes. Um, so the colour that I'm going to take will be... So I'm going to take this colour here um, because it's a little bit darker. I don't want something super light. Um, and that colour is Silent Treatment. So pop my brush over. So I've done it over twice and all my brush is picking up is the shimmer. I don't really think it's picked up the colour. So I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to pop that on. Okay, so this is clumping. Um, so I'm popping it on my eyes. I'm not kind of doing massive sweeps or anything but I do feel like it's clumping um which is a little bit annoying I don't have loads of makeup on there um so I'm going to dab instead and see how much of a difference that makes the fallout is really bad as well like the sun's just come out but I don't know how much you can kind of see down here the fallout is definitely there um I don't know if that means that it's quite well pigmented or anything but it's there and I'm gonna have to clean it up which is a little bit annoying Right, and again, I'm just going to go in with my fluffy brush and just blend out the rest of that because that seems to have made my eyes super duper dark. Okay, so that has made my eyes super duper dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another brush and take another little fluffy. And I'm going to take a much lighter colour just to kind of pop in this inner corner to try and lighten it all up. So I'm going to take the lightest colour on this palette, which is this one here, um, which is called Magnetic. I'm going to take a couple of swipes of that and pop it in the inner. I was going to pop a little bit on my lower lash line as well, but because this has ended up so dark, I don't think I'm going to. Okay, so this is what my eyes look like. This is what I'm going to do as my finished look. So I'll just close them so you can see. So I've got a couple of colours on there. Um, I like it. I think the overall look is nice. It's quite subtle. You can tell that I've got eyeshadow on. But not like all the different compart like different areas and stuff so i do quite like it and this shimmer color that i've used on the inside which is the mag is it magnetic yeah magnetic i really like it i think the color payoff is super nice so i do really like that i'm quite happy with this i look a little bit crazy at the moment because eyeshadow no mascara and no brows so i'm gonna crack on with those bits so next i'm gonna go on and color in my brows now, again, if you've been watching me for a little while, you know that I currently have my brows tattooed on. Um, I've got semi-permanent brows, so I've had the microblading treatment. So that's why it does look quite kind of coloured in. But if I was to do a full face of makeup, um, other than going to work, I would also colour in my brows. So I'm going to use a brow product. Um, so this is the Beauty Pie um, Super Brow Precision Pencil, which I've got in the colour Hot Coffee. And I'm just going to use this to colour in some like certain areas. So it's just like a twisty one and your little end comes out so I'm going to get a little bit and I'm just going to do my brows now. I'm going to get a mirror to be able to look at this because I haven't used a brow pencil in years. So Okay so I'm finding this quite good because it's not giving off loads and loads of colour which is quite good for me because I do just need to fill in little areas because obviously I've got the lines already there from the tattoo. So it's working quite well. The colour seems to match my tattoo colour, which is good. And the lines seem to draw on it really nicely. Yeah, as brow pens and pencils go, I quite like this. I don't know if you can tell the difference between how they are now and how they were before. I'm going to put a little bit more in this centre bit. There we go. I like that. That's nice. That was super easy as well. I normally use a powder, and although powders don't take ages to do, um, I do feel like it looks a lot thicker I guess you'd say and um, because you can see the powder whereas that it's filled in my little gaps um it's got like little hair strokes in and I like it okay nearly there nearly at the end time for mascara so I'm always hesitant with new mascaras I've got really fussy lashes um but I thought I'd give it a go I've just recently had a lash lift which is why I've been putting doing this video off for so long um because I wanted that lash lift before I used this and kind of tested it um, so I've got the Beauty Pie Uber Volume, not Uber, Beauty Pie Uber Volume um, Boost Mascara. And I've got this just in jet black. So I'll open it up. Oh, nice. So it's just a really standard um, kind of spoolie, I guess. 
Um, so I'll give this a go, see how it coats my lashes. It's very subtle. Um, I guess that's a good thing if that's what you're looking for. But I do like, I like it to look like I've got some mascara on, especially if I've got this much eye makeup on. I mean, I guess you can tell the difference if you look at each eye. You can tell that this one is darker. Definitely needs a couple of coats, which is a little bit annoying because I don't like spending loads of time on my mascara. Okay, so you can definitely tell that I've got mascara on. This is just one coat. I do apologise that this eye looks darker. This, it's just where the sun is. It's because I use natural light. Um, but you can definitely tell that I have the mascara on. You can see my lashes. So I'm going to do one more coat and then I'm going to do my um, bottom lash line. Um, see what it looks like. Okay, so I've just put one more coat on. And as you can see, you can still see my lashes. I've done my lower lash line. It's not super duper defined, but then I don't like really dark lashes on my bottom lash line. Now this eye has gone a little bit clumpy. Um, now obviously, as I said, I have had a lash lift, which can make your lashes do that anyway. Um, but I do quite like it, and it doesn't smell funky, which you do normally get from mascaras. Um, I'd say the foundation smells a lot like weirder. Um, but no, I quite like it. You can see my lashes, the dark. Um, and it doesn't feel heavy at all or sticky or anything like that. So that is quite good. Right, I'm going to zoom you guys out now and I'm going to put some lipstick on. So I've got two lipsticks to choose from. I've either got a matte or a satin. So my matte lipstick is Cowboy Nude and the satin lipstick is a little pinky. So obviously I did buy these a while ago um, with summer in mind. Obviously it's now no longer summer. Um, so I probably won't use the pink, but this is what they both look like. So you've got a little pinky here and then the satin cowboy, I think it was called, here. Um, I really like these. They're quite nice. I will swatch them both and add them into this, obviously. Um, but they look really nice. Um, they look quite hydrating as well, actually. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like on. Um, as I said, I'm not going to go for the pink just because I've done this dark eye now. So I'm going to put my pink away. And I'm going to go for this nude, which is cowboy nude, which is a matte lip. So let's give this a go. Oh, it smells really nice. Oh my gosh, it smells like chocolate. Oh my God, that's the first thing I noticed as soon as I put it near. I'm going to see what this smells like. Oh, I don't know. It smells like a shop when I go on holidays, a shop in Florida. This one smells a lot thicker than this one, but this one smells like chocolate. So this one's a winner. Oh, I don't know. The, you can tell that they've tried to put some scent into this one as well. It's just not worked quite as well. But then you can't really go wrong with a chocolate scent and they're, they're kind of everywhere. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, this is one thing that I'm very glad they put fragrance in. I really, really like this. It looks a lot darker on camera than it does in person, but I really like it. It doesn't feel drying at all. As I've said, it smells really good. I think the colour is really, really nice. It matches like my skin tone and everything really nicely. And especially this look with the slightly darker, like brown smoky eye. I really, really like this. I'm so impressed. And it's not like super, super matte, but then it's not like satin or anything either. I'm definitely gonna have to invest in some more of these because it is so nice. Perfect, so that is me ready for the day now. I've just taken my hair down so you can kind of see how it's gonna look. Um, and yeah, I really like this. I'm super impressed with the Beauty Pie makeup because, I don't know, I've tried a few before and they've been good, but this is like super good. I'm really impressed. The only thing that I'm not sold on is that highlighter. Um, but I guess if you like a really, really subtle highlight, um, it is nice. I mean, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it is nice. It's just very subtle. Um, and I do have highlighters that are better. Um, same with the bronzer, it's really nice, it's very very like light, it blends really nicely, it's very subtle but if you're wanting something a little bit deeper I wouldn't go for that one, I know that I didn't get like the darkest shade or anything um, but yeah I, I am impressed, I think this looks really nice, you can't tell that all the makeup that I've used is less than like £30 I think um, and it's, it's really nice um, I will write a full review of Beauty Pie products and whether I think the membership is worth it um, because obviously I have used products in the past um, but for this full face of makeup I am very impressed. I really really like it and I think the colours and everything just work really well um, and other than that smell of the foundation um, and kind of the coverage which is a very personal thing um, I like quite like thick coverage it's not that but that's just for me if you're wanting like a dewy very light foundation, it's perfect. Um, I am very, very impressed. 
So that is everything for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know down in the comments if you've got anything from Beauty Pie that you think I should try. Um, I'm always keen to try out new products from them. I really want to try the skincare range, um, or at least some of the bits of skincare. Um, I really want to kind of give those a go and see what they're like. So please do let me know down in the comments. And let me know if you like this video because I don't really do makeup videos very often like actually doing my makeup so if you did enjoy it please do let me know um, either by giving the video a big thumbs up or down in the comments and um, subscribe if you're new and i will see you next week with another video thank you very much for watching bye